Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Today, I'm going to go over which education paths or courses are best for you, depending on your situation. If you enjoy this video or you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like or hit the subscribe button to support the channel. The overarching message here is going to be if you choose to pursue education, the number one thing to look out for is that the program you select has co-op opportunities. Co-op will make your job search significantly easier because once you graduate, you have work experience under your belt. Another benefit of co-op is that companies that offer co-op programs often hire the candidates once they graduate their programs. The best education path for you will be different depending on your situation. A few examples of situations is somebody with a technology degree from abroad, somebody with experience from abroad, or somebody with no education or experience at all. If you are somebody that is immigrating to the US or Canada, or you are a new immigrant in the US or Canada, and you already have a degree that makes you qualify to do your job in your home country, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do that same degree here again. In other words, if your education is strong enough to find a job in your home country, it will be strong enough to find a job here. However, if you want to upgrade your education, for example, if you had a bachelor's degree back home and you immigrate and you decide to pursue a postgraduate degree, that does make sense. The thing I would not recommend is doing similar coursework as you've already done in your home country, unless there is a co-op component, which will give you your initial work experience. With that said, continuing education is a good option, both for immigrants with and without work experience. One good option to keep in mind is a master's degree in computer science from a reputable university. If you can afford it and can contribute the time, a master's degree in computer science from a reputable university will definitely elevate you as a candidate, especially to higher tier tech companies. In general, for people that have only education from abroad and no work experience, before immigrating, I always suggest to get some work experience in your home country at least one year, but ideally two years or more, because this will make your job search significantly easier after you immigrate. You should also make sure your resume, interview skills, and job searching skills are strong, and your resume follows local resume styling. When a recruiter sees a resume that isn't polished or doesn't look like the typical resume that they see, their first impression is typically not a positive one. If you are someone that is immigrating or recently immigrated to Canada or the US, and you have at least one to two years of work experience, there is absolutely no need for you to pursue further education if your goal is just to land a software engineering job. If you have a strong resume and good interview skills, you will be able to find a job. If you are struggling to find a job, chances are the solution is not more education, but rather polishing your resume and improving your interviewing and communication skills. If you have no experience or education in tech at all, then you have a few options. A university or college degree is a great option. If you choose to pursue this route, keep in mind internship and co-op opportunities are very important. In my opinion, this is the perfect option for somebody that can commit the time and money, such as somebody that is not working a full-time job. If you are a professional and are currently working, something I have seen people do successfully is transition into the tech department and transfer into a software engineering role. You can figure out if and how much of this is possible at your current company by speaking to your manager. I hope I have covered all the common cases and given you a good idea of what education path is best for you given your current situation. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.